Septuagesima Sunday. Station at St. Lawrence without the walls. The Eastern usage regarded Saturday and Sunday as festival days, and therefore as exempt from the Lenten fast. So, in order to complete the 40 days of Lent, the Greeks anticipated the penitential season by some weeks, and from this Sunday onward abstained from the use of meat. Among the Latins four days had to be supplied making Lent begin on Ash Wednesday. The piety of the more devout wished for something more. St. Gregory therefore instituted, or at least gave definite form to, a cycle of three weeks preparation for Lent, with three solemn stations at the patriarchal basilicas of St. Lawrence, St. Paul, and St. Peter, as though to begin the Easter fast under the auspices of the three great patrons of the Eternal City. From this Sunday until Monday Thursday the Gloria in Excelsis is omitted in masses of the season. The Collect which immediately follows the litany at present the Kyrian days of fasting and penance, truly represents, therefore, the ordinary and normal form of the litany as used in the ancient liturgy of the Mass and of the Divine Office. The fruit of today's meditation on the Epistle of St. Paul and on the parable of the vineyard is the uncertainty of eternal salvation. It is not enough for us to have been baptized or called to a holy state, it is necessary to labor diligently and imitate the chosen few, that is, the saints and martyrs. O Ramus! Do thou, we beseech thee, O Lord, graciously hear the prayers of thy people, that we, who are justly afflicted for our sins, may be mercifully delivered for the glory of thy name. Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum. Amen.